I'm my lecture life and you're watching a small demonstration of how it's possible to mix ahead of time compiled and just in time compiled code using John Truffle in ValVM. Let's see that in action. Java and Truffle is a JVM written in Java using the ValVM's infrastructure for implementing programming languages. It's written in Java and that very nicely complements the rest of the ValVM project, which is also written in Java. Being a Java program, Java and Truffle can be built into a ValVM native image, which opens very interesting opportunities for mixing the ahead of time compiled code uh, inside a native image and the dynamically loaded and compiled just in time components in Java. Here's a helpful picture that explains how it works. In the JIT mode, we have the native code inside the Java hotspot VM and the dynamically generated and loaded Java code. In the ahead of time mode, Java code and the VM components are processed together by the native image utility and compiled to the binary. In the mixed mode, Java code together with the VM is compiled to the binary but also Java and Truffle, Truffle and the Gralium JIT are also included into that binary file and that allows to execute dynamically other parts of our Java code. To illustrate this concept further, let's look at the sample application implementing JShell. I have a project here. This project is available on GitHub. You can see that it's just a number of classes, a small Java application. We have the main class with the main method that sets up the things. The important thing to note here that it uses actually the JShell classes from the JDK implementation itself. And the, the most interesting part is the Espresso Execution Control class, which is responsible for actually evaluating the code that we are putting into the JShell. One interesting thing to note here is that what it does, it uses the actual JShell classes as well but it loads them within the Java and Truffle implementation. So if we look how the load class is implemented, we can see that deep down the chain, we use the GraalVM polyglot SDK context, and we say that we'd like to have the context for the Java execution and load the classes uh, through that method call chain. So the application has two distinct parts. There is the UI that is the command line application that implements the JShell itself. And there is this backend within the same process that evaluates the contents uh, of the bytecode uh, of the compiled classes that we put in. Now, to build this all together, we need to execute a little script that will compile and package the uh, jar file and then run the native image utility on the jar file. The important line here is that we want to include language Java into that native image so we can evaluate uh, things using Java and Truffle. Running the script will take a little bit of time, so I will use the pre-compiled version here. I have my Espresso JShell executable, and you can see that if I try to look at it, it's a binary file uh, and it implements JShell. So if I run JShell normally, this one comes from my JDK distribution. I can evaluate some classes uh, and this, but you have noticed there is a slight pause at the startup. If I run the Espresso JShell file, since it's native image, you can see that it starts up absolutely in an instant. I can still evaluate things uh, the first time. It needs a little bit of time to evaluate and load the truffle interpreter for the JVM for Java, uh, but then it becomes faster uh, and it works just like the normal JShell. Uh, besides just being able to run some small snippets here, I would like to show a demo that it can actually produce and run quite complex application. For this, I will use my normal terminal and I will run my Espresso JShell passing the class pass option here, class pass, uh, passing a jar that I have in this directory. So this is my JShell now. We have the Tetris jar on the class pass. So what we can do, we can do demo Tetris main and pass the null for the parameters. And we can see that our 
Java and Truffle implementation of the J shell evaluates actually a reasonably complex home online game. Uh, that of course comes from the Tetris jar that we will have loaded, but those, that is also loaded dynamically on the Java and Truffle implementation. All in all, Java and Truffle is a very interesting way to run Java applications. I hope you enjoyed this short, this short demo uh, of mixing AOT and JIT compiled code. To learn more, check out the documentation, check out the product pages, the sample applications, and stay tuned for more.